Hello everybody and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conniger and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI. If you're subscribed already, great. If you're not, go ahead and hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell for future notifications so you don't miss out on great videos like this one. Uh, it's free for you and it's good for me. It helps out the channel. So back in 2019 when I ordered the kit, I was reading through the forums and I was basing my build decisions off uh, what I was reading in the, in the forums. It sounded like you could order as you went. So if you were halfway through the fuselage and you decided, okay, I'm gonna be putting in my engine next, you'd put in your order and probably receive your engine in a month or two. Times have changed, things are a little different. So in June, when I went out to the factory fly-in, I spoke with Heather and she told me it would be a good idea to, to go ahead and get everything ordered ASAP so that uh, the delays happen now while I'm still building the kit. So I wasn't really ready to do that, so uh, I got to talk to John, and basically he helped me come up with my engine and propeller ideas, and I spoke to Brandon about any, any other future modifications or changes that I would want to make, and we also talked about some mistakes that I've made in the past, a few uh, build videos that I am actually going back and repairing right now, and the video just prior to this one was it's just one of those on the trim actuator at the back of the airplane. So next up is going to be the center console. That'll probably be next week's video. I, for the third time, have to pull that out. Take it apart, pull out the rivets, put some epoxy on the bottom, put the rivets back in, and make sure everything is structurally sound and attached properly and in the aircraft properly. But to fly in, I also got to talk to one of the Garmin reps, hence the hat. It was nice. He had a pretty much three or four page checklist, which I'm gonna throw up here so you guys can take a look at it. And he talked me through, asked me what my wants were, and I told him I had a, a list on my iPad that, uh, that I was coming up with as I was moving along, I'd see something I liked. So I showed him the list. Uh, we went over to one of the factory built airplanes there in the hangar, which was getting ready to be delivered for Oshkosh and he's able to put up stickers all over the panel so we could see what would fit and what wouldn't, what would I maybe have to compromise on something. And as it turns out, I did. I, had to, I wanted a GTN 750 in there originally, but wouldn't fit with everything else that I wanted. So, so I'll be going with the GTN 650 XI, the GPS Navcom and MFD. So in the last two weeks, I've received three estimates. The avionics estimate came from uh, Debra and the other two came from, from Heather. So the first one I'm gonna put up here is gonna be the avionics. And the total price for that is $37,904.28. So I'll let you peruse through that list of avionics. I'm not gonna read them all to you so you can see what I've selected. It seems like everybody's instrument panel is kind of like an opinion. Everyone has one and they wanna tell you theirs and you'll get to see my opinion here shortly. The second estimate is gonna be for the engine. And after talking with John, I decided to go with the Rotex 915 IS and uh, the propeller combination, which I think was the uh, MT propeller. He told me that if I would choose something else, I would probably want to have this propeller and engine set up later on. So I decided I'd as well go with it. So the price on that quote is $40,695.47. Quote number three is going to be the propeller, and that propeller, that estimate comes to $16,250, and that includes the spinner assembly for the MT prop, the MT prop itself, and freight is $2,500. That $2,500 freight charge underneath there, it says estimated shipping from MT to customer. So I assume that MT is not Montana, but the prop factory in Germany, hence the cost of the shipping. So I have, uh, emailed Heather to ask her to clarify that for me because if it is in Montana, I'll just drive over there and pick it up. I think I can do it for less than 2,500. So 42,450, that was my 2019 estimate. And I'm under that, but I wanna go with a circuit breaker panel, an electronic circuit breaker panel from Vertical Power. It's called the BPX Sport. And I think that's gonna run me around $2,600. So that's gonna put me close to 40, 41,000 maybe. And I'm still gonna be a little bit under, but I was not expecting to pay uh, $16,000 for the prop. I was perusing the parts catalog from time to time and I noticed the whirlwind props in there and prices in there were maybe $3,000, $2,000 to $3,000. So I was, I was guesstimating maybe $6,000 for a prop and 
and it's 16,000. So am I underestimate on some things and over on others? Yes, but I think that's why they're called estimates. So for a total thus far, that brings me to $94,849.75. That's prior to the firewall forward kit, which I'm gonna estimate around 9,800. And that 9,800 is due upon completion. And I think they're backlogged out to six to seven months is what Heather told me. So after paying for the firewall forward kit, everything else that I'm ordering here in these three estimates, I'll be at 104,649.75. And thus far with the firewall aft kit, I've paid $52,391. So plus the 104,000, that's gonna put me right around the $157,040.75 mark. Now that is a lot, but looking back at the pre-built kits, I think if memory serves me correct, in 2019, which I don't have any screenshots for or any, any documentation, but I do remember $129,000 mark sitting in my head as I was looking at a pre-built kit thinking, well, maybe I should just do that. But last night I went onto the, the website and looked up the pre-built kit and they are $179,000 today. So that's a delta of $50,000 in three years for around 16,500, 16,600 and some change per year. So really the best way to save money, I don't like it when someone tells me the best way to save money is to spend more money, but if you want a kit and you do want to save money, you can save about $16,000 a year by not waiting another year before you dive in and make your purchase. So that would be my advice to you, is if you want to save some money, you want the kit, you're not ready for it, find some financing, do what you need to do, go out and get that kit on order. And you can order a kit today and only put $5,000 on a credit card. And I say only $5,000, which it's $5,000. So if you wanna say only or that little bit amount, but $5,000 in the bucket is pretty easy to do. $5,000 in the grand scheme of things is pretty small. So if you're in the market for an airplane, you probably, know that there's going to be a lot of finances that come along with it. So thanks for sticking around guys and watching the video. If you liked what you saw today, leave me some comments below so I can comment back to you and uh, I can learn something from you and maybe you can learn something from me and, or if you just want to banter, throw that in there too. I like to read it all. So next week's video, again, I'll be getting back into the build, making some corrections on some, uh, some of the items that I that I went over last week's was the trim actuator. This next week's video is gonna be the, the center console. After speaking with Brandon at the fly-in, he told me that I basically need to put epoxy and rivets in the panel and I've only done rivets. So I'm gonna to have to pull that out of the fuselage for the third time, which will be the charm. I'll pull that out, epoxy it up, re-rivet it and get it back in the airplane and hopefully not touch it again. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.